and actually there's a bit of a typo right there. All right, so now that we have put in our, our echo statement saying the user is logged out, we have to actually log them out. So it's just a really simple function we have to call, and it's session underscore destroy. And that code, that single line right there, will um, log the user out and destroy all of our session information. So all of our session variables will be destroyed. So we can go ahead and click our logout page. Let's go ahead and refresh this one, make sure we're still logged in. Okay, so we're still logged in. We can click log out. So you have been logged out. And if we go to the member page, it says, uh, please log in to access this page. We can log in. Whoops. Can log in. You've been logged in as Nick Frosty. Click here to go to the member page. Click here and welcome. So our login system is pretty much complete now. Um, but we just have a little bit of a snafu in our login page. Now, as I said earlier, is that we want to make it so users can't log in if they're already logged in. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in that if statement to check to make sure they're not already logged in. So right here, we want to put in an if statement saying if username and if user or and uh, user ID um, else. We're just going to grab our echo statement right there. So saying that the user is logged in. So you've been logged in, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to change the message to uh, you are already logged in as, and then the username. All right. So after we have our else right there, right above our form. Uh, we have to scroll down to right down here and put in the end bracket right there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and indent this. And just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and log out. Go to the member page. Go to the login page. So we're not logged in right now. And if I log in, so we're logged in. I'm going to go ahead and just save the password for now. So we've been logged in. Go to the member page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the login page now. So you're already logged in as and then nothing. And the reason for that is because that's DB user and that should be username. So if we refresh, so you're already logged in as Nick Frosty and then click here to go to the member page. So we have that created now. So this pretty much concludes the login system. Uh, what we have to work on next is our actual user registration, the email activation, and the um, forgot password page. So before we go ahead and get started on that, on our login page, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create some of those links here um, so we don't have to do it later. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this row here and get rid of this content here. And inside of here, I'm going to put in a link to the register page. And I'm just going to say register. And then I'm going to put in another link. And this will take us whoops, to the forgot password page. So forgot your Forgot your password? I don't know. And our href will be to uh, forgot pass.php, I guess. So if we now log out and then go to the login page, so we have our links, so register and forgot your password. Now, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take this and throw it in there. So refresh. So we have our links in here now. We can go to the register page. Uh, obviously, we haven't created it yet. And our forgot password page doesn't exist yet. Um, so we're going to start working on the register page next so we can actually create new users and activate them and, and things like that. So check out those videos. Don't forget to check out my website, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube.